What's up guys, Stig here, and uh, this will be my first narration, and hopefully it goes well. I hail from the FC Blood is Power, and uh, this is just a uh, one-shot run of the Seducius fight in turn one of the Binding Coil of Bahamut. And as you can see, I've got a DPS meter going, frowned upon by Square Enix, but uh, don't think it's a baneable offense, hopefully not, because I think I'd be screwed otherwise, because I'm putting this on the internet. And uh, so we've been doing this fight for a while, weekly, and it is a pretty easy fight. There was a time and a place where I spent eight hours trying to down it, never did, and uh, burn it after the slime. Yes. Speaking of slimes, um, I think we could probably do it without slimes at this point. Burn it, Danny. Uh, that is just kind of a reminiscence of how we used to down it. Um, the snake splits at 70%. If you are watching this video as right, a tutorial, it's not really down. one, but it might be helpful, especially if you're a warrior, since it's from that perspective. I play as a, uh, as a warrior, and uh, it's really helpful to have this app going because it shows you the exact percentage of the mob. And this snake splits at 70%, so the ultimate goal with the slimes is to feed a slime at 70.01% health, and slime might heal it a little bit, so unideally it would uh, heal it a little bit to be able to burn it as soon as that slime's fed, force it to split, and at that point, as an off tank, or as the tank that's going to pick up the new snake, or the second snake, I start spamming flash, uh, when you heard me in the video say, it's splitting now, that was the 70% what? mark, what? and um, yeah, so, start spamming flash, uh, so switch. as soon as that snake pops up, grab it. All the DPS is going to follow the old snake, because N has already been built up on that from our main tank whacking on it for that first 30%. And they take that snake down to about 10%, I think it's a good number, because at that point, the tank's going to continue to attack it, and then all the DPS is going to move over to my snake, or the off-tank snake, and uh, continue to kill that all the way to the end. Um, you want to make sure you don't spawn any slimes ever. The person doing slimes should be the only one spawning slimes, or not spawning slimes. If your group has great DPS, which ours does at this point, um, I don't think you should have to even do slimes, but as I said, you know, it's kind of a reminiscence of the past. And I think that says, what, five, five stacks? No, that was a three, and now it's at four stacks. So I could definitely handle that damage. I think I'm at 8.7k health without, um, yeah, so back, back when the average item level was 80, and it was great to be over 80, then you definitely would have to do slimes and kind of time it perfectly. Good job. Um, that's right But as minutes. you can see, when that first snake dies, the second one, or the first one, dies right after it. And that was a switch at 10%. All right, you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. video. Um, hopefully these can come out uh, smooth and I want to improve my video making, narrating skills, all of the above as we go, as well as better intro. I think the one now is kind Everybody of built into made. Camtasia Studio. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and make sure to check out Blood is Power as the Wait, next best FC really on Brim Hilder. Have a great day and see you on the next one.